appreciate a lot the way that they treat me, they treat my, my friends, my beloved ones. And yeah, we have a very amazing experience after I know I heard like 30 years that, uh, yeah, this M MLB All-Star game was in, in the Dodgers stadium, not here in LA. So yeah, I was, I was very, very happy and very grateful. How are you feeling? Good, very good. You? I'm, I'm doing well, but I'm not, uh, coming off of uh, having to sit out for a bit. How, how yeah, was that experience that's a great you? thing that I was sitting away a little bit and now I'm very excited and with the with the battery very recharged to, to try to do my best again to help the team, obviously. Were you were you ill or was it? Yeah, good? ill. It was, I was ill and then we took uh, measurements uh, in the protocols to just be safe, not only for, for myself, but for the, for the whole organization. Did you, did it, was it a bad one or was it? No, okay? it was all right. It was all right. It was just okay. safe protocols. Amarki and I had the same stuff and yeah, we managed it pretty well. And luckily we lost uh, two games in one week. Normally it would be one game, but because the schedule, you know, because of the World Cup and etc. Yeah, we, we needed to, to, to lose two, two matches. Javi, um, Greg mentioned you and Marky got uh, some time training with Gaston on mm. Sunday. Kind of how, how's it been getting to know him and work out with him? Amazing, amazing. And I hope you will see how good he is on, on Sunday. You know, hopefully if he, if he has chances, if Greg feels that he's ready to, to play from the start or coming from the bench, you know, but he's an amazing player. Any player who comes in this organization, regardless that if they play in Europe or, or in their country, so they are a young or they are experienced, you know, they're, we believe in them. We give the 100% trust. The same happened with when Douglas came as well uh, after, after the beginning of the season. So, yeah, I mean, we are very happy. We're glad that he is uh, with us and I think he's going he's gonna to add up a lot of, of his intensity, his talent and a lot of, of his experience. What do you like about him? I mean, I just train once in the team, so but I, th I think he has a very energetic attitude, very technique, and yeah, hopefully he can adapt uh, quickly to this league because sometimes people uh, mm -hmm. underestimate the, this league, and I, th I think he he wouldn't do that. He has that that like strong mentality, that winning mentality that we need, as Greg explained that in his presentation. So yeah, we're very glad, very happy, and hopefully uh, he can add up a lot of stuff to to help us reach the playoffs. Uh, that's what we want to to, to reach. Probably with th with three losses in a row, obviously yeah. you're there for LAFC. You missed the last two. What did you see during those last two games? Um, that yeah, there's, sort of left this, that there's a lot to improve, man. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to improve. That's my only answer. I don't want to get into it. Is there's a lot to improve. We've been doing so much talk, so yeah, too much to improve, too much work to to do, too much responsibility to responsibility to take, and yeah, we need. I think our fans, ourselves, and this organization deserves way better than, than those three last performances. With, with 14 games left, too, is there a sense of urgency knowing that all these games are really since we play up? Since we play in New York, the urgency is there. Every, every point matters. Every point counts. And uh, I always mention that example of last season. We were in playoffs position every single time. And just in the last play with that Salt Lake game, we were off. So every point matters. Every game matters. So urgency or not, we take uh, we took every game since New York in the same way as we're going to take these ones that are in that are forward. We see with this team um, the same kinds of problems again and again, uh, and especially with uh, conceding the early goal and sometimes conceding on boom yep. boom. Um, is this a is this is this who you guys are, Look, or is it or or do you feel like you are getting close to where you know we can turn this? I think on? every team has their weakness, and every team needs to 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 find. Uh, the spots that they need to improve to reach the playoffs and to win uh, the, the, the the community, I think, or is the community shield that is called over here in the conference, and then they go to the playoffs. So, man, I think uh, I don't I don't want to to speak when we are winning that we're the greatest team so far, and when we are this losing, we're still in playoffs, man. So with seven, of course, Galaxy deserves being on the top. Of course, I get that, but we're still in playoffs, so it's not as bad as it looks, but it could get worse. Obviously, I get your point, but I don't want to just uh, throw the house out of the window like we said in Mexico that we're terrible were the worst team. No, 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 no. Things, we need to put things in perspective. We're still in playoffs. So imagine if we improve with those things that you mentioned, it's going to be very difficult to stop us. But that's the key of, of, of every league, to improve in your, in your weaknesses and to maintain your, your fortress and your, and your qualities, you know? Do you feel like you guys are improving on those things? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, we're still in playoffs, man. We're not in the last position of the, of the league, so... Yeah, of course, we're improving a lot. What's How it like in the locker room after these disappointing Sorry, results? Sorry, can you repeat? What's it like in the locker room after these disappointing results? Uh, I would love that the locker room will be more accountable, more responsible, more uh, in a way that I don't know how I can say it because we are, this group is amazing. It's one of the greatest groups that I've been here as a human being. But as well, this is a competition, man. We need to learn how to, when they're outside of the field, we are all comrades, we're all teammates, we're friends, we love each other. But we're in the pitch, I depend on you, you depend on me, and we're playing against someone that 
I want to win. We all want the same objective. So we need to be like prepared to that. So I would love to, 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 to do that. Greg is doing an amazing job. I think, and I think like, like we're, we're going to keep improving because our problem, I don't think is talent wise. I think our problem is like that mentality and emotional consistency of like maturity, you know, that we need to, to show that if we win against New York City, it's not done. If we lose against San Jose, it's not done. It's like, that's the winning mentality that, that everyone can tell you when they're winning a lot of trophies on their in top teams, that they, they feel the same. You know, you can see Real Madrid, they won the Champions League. I did the, the same example with Steph Curry in the Warriors. Now in two weeks, they're going to prepare to win. It's just the past. They won the foreign yeah, it doesn't matter. Now we're starting the same. So we, I would love that everyone over here has that mentality. And I think a word that we want to mention a lot is accountability. Javi, ¿cómo está el vestuario? Ya lo hablaste en inglés, pero en español, después de las tres derrotas, de las declaraciones de Derrick Williams, que no están jugando como equipo. Espero que esté dolido, y estamos dolidos, y estamos tomando mucha responsabilidad, que es lo que queremos, queremos mejorar. Y aquí lo que tenemos que hacer es, somos muy positivos, pero también tenemos que, como se dice en inglés, no address the elephant in the room, que también esa es la, la responsabilidad, y tenemos que tener la madurez de todos saber en dónde estamos flaqueando, en dónde tenemos que mejorar, y tener los, la, la madurez emocional de recibir eso, de cuando lo haces bien, siempre te gustan que te aplaudan, pero también cuando lo estás haciendo mal y la gente te lo está te lo está haciendo ver que también tengas esa humildad de poder decir ok ahí tengo que mejorar y tengo que trabajar y yo soy responsable de eso así que es todo lo que estamos trabajando dentro y fuera del campo todos nosotros los jugadores también con, con Greg y con su staff y que le falta el equipo para que sea más constante para que muchas cosas muchas cosas no hay no hay una cosa no hay una fórmula si en la vida te dijera que falta una cosa todo el mundo lo haríamos y todo el mundo ganaría no se trata de eso son muchísimas cosas en las cuales tenemos que mejorar y lo estamos poniendo en práctica día a día Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, getting Javier and Marky back, that's a big deal. Yeah, it's important. I mean, those, they're two of our guys have probably been the most consistent through the season in terms of, but they're also, you know, Javi and his emotion and his passion is also important for our group just in terms of the locker room and in terms of uh, uh, just the group in the match. You know, when you see him up top and he's battling and scrapping and fighting for things, I think that is, it's helpful for the group to see that and to have him. And obviously his emotion and passion comes out in the locker room and everywhere else. And so uh, obviously nice to have him come back. There's no question. And, and Mark has been the engine room of our midfield all season. And, uh, you know, with him not out there, I feel like, as I've said, since we've come back from the, the break, Ryan's had some injury issue. Mark's had the, the issue with the, the head and then the sickness. So he's, again, he's been inconsistent since we've come back. And I've been saying for six months we're a little bit light in the midfield. We still need to add a player, which is great because Gaston arrives now, which gives us that added uh, strength in midfield that I believe that this group needs. And it's hard to play the way we want to play, which is to, to control the ball, control possession if, if you can't control the midfield. And so uh, I think we've suffered a little bit from that over the last few games as a group. Um, and it's just it's just for us for now for us to just to regroup and get going and not allow the, the last couple of results to, to get to us emotionally. We just have to recognize that that's where we were in the moment and we didn't manage the whole situation perfectly. But uh, but we still have a very good group. We have a lot of quality. We've got the additional midfield there now that you know if if for whatever reason Marky isn't quite on or if if Ryan's a little off we still have one more of those guys who can really cover ground and can help us to control the midfield it's, it's huge uh, with the way we want to play so having both of those guys back having Gaston in uh, you know by and large hopefully we, we we are healthy and can stay healthy then I feel like our group is together and we're ready to start to move forward what have you seen from Gaston just in limited sort of training that you've seen yeah I mean it was yesterday he came in to do a little work on his own and, and I worked with him uh, and then today and it just he's obviously he's a mature player smart technically efficient he's he's very aware of his surroundings and in terms of game reading and game understanding and and what are the priorities in a moment, whether that's to keep possession, try to make the final pass, game reading to block at block passes, whether to press or to stay. It's these types of decisions where you're in the game and you have to adapt on the fly that his experience, his awareness, his qualities will, will help our group. Uh, again, another guy who just who also can has an engine to cover territory in the in the middle of the field. Uh, and he's good at he's also good at recovering balls and he also brings us something on the free kick side that maybe we haven't had on a consistent basis yesterday just doing free kicks he was very consistent at putting the ball in, in good spots which can help us uh, so there's a lot of things and I think as he settles in the group and he gets to know each other more then I think he'll as all guys do their personalities start to start to emerge from that because I've already seen him kind of directing people and uh, and moving them around today is a little a little different because there's a lot going on out here today, and so he's not only 
integrating into the team, but he's actually meeting fans and they're watching him train. So it's a lot of it's a lot today, just from a, a stimulus standpoint for a guy who's new. But um, re- really, just super excited. Like I said, I've been watching for a couple of years. I really feel like his skill set suits our our group. What's his possibilities for Sunday, if any? Yeah, he, he'll be involved. That's the expectation. He's arrived. He's fit. I uh, just want to. You know, give him the opportunity this week again to integrate to with his teammates. We'll see how the week progresses and how he how he feels training session after training session, how he recovers, things like that. But uh, my anticipation is he'll be involved. On what level, we'll kind of we'll see as the week progresses. How about his fitness level? Good. I mean, he, he's uh, he's been doing the work and communicating with our guys uh, naturally. Just as a as a player, he's a he's a ground cover and a runner and somebody who's fit. Uh, I don't know if that means he's 90 minutes fit, but but he certainly has uh, between yesterday, which wasn't an easy session, and today he didn't he didn't run into physical problems in the last couple of days. So, uh, what does that translate into minutes? Let's. I just want to see how the week progresses and how he recovers from each day, and that'll give us a better indication physically where he's at. Greg, what do you make of the spirit and intensity in today's training? Yeah, it's uh, it's good. Again, it's the first day back, and the guys have been off for two and a half days, you know. And so the first day back is always takes a second to get all of your resources kind of firing again. Uh, so that's that's usually why we don't do anything tactical on the first day back because the guys aren't any, really in that mindset. So I think the competitive side started to progress as the day started to to build on, and you know, and any these days where they're we're playing for a winner, guys start to really get into it. Uh, so I, I was pleased, but today was about that. Today was about getting into it, competing again, getting our mindset. Starting tomorrow, we're going to really focus on our, our tactical preparation uh, as we prepare for, for Atlanta. Coming off of three losses in a row, what's, what, do you, what do you see from this team? Do you see a team that's trying to rebound from that or, or maybe a little bit in their heads knowing that they've given up three games in a row? I mean, I think it's natural to emotionally uh, – be in a, a frustrated place I think that's normal but I think the key is to use the frustration to come out and compete and to uh, to push yourself a little bit more to, to for each of us just to take a quick peek in the mirror to make sure that we have our priorities right and as we come back and we start up again and for me this week is just to make sure that everybody's that the clarity is there for everybody in terms of their roles and in terms of how we want to approach this game so that they can feel confident and comfortable to go in and not just execute upon it. You know, I thought uh, we were managing a few gaps, I thought, in, in RSL, which just meant that we were, uh, you go in at altitude and you're always gonna you're already going to lose a percentage of your high-speed, high-intensity work just by virtue of playing Wednesday and then playing in altitude. And, and then I thought we just had a few, a few gaps that... Um, we didn't manage. We didn't manage great. So I think we got to leave that behind us. Take away what we need from it, and really continue to focus on. But just the presence of seeing some of the guys come back into the group is also a boost for everybody to to look around and say, okay, we're we're back together now, and uh, it's time to move forward. Atlanta is another team that's kind of had its ups and downs. So they've gotten points out of what three or four three or four games now. Uh, what do you see in them, and, and do you see them getting better? I think they're a talented team. There's no question. I mean, the amount of of players of quality that they have that fill out their roster is uh, certainly intriguing for them. Uh, sounds it seems like one guy goes down and there's some some next guy that comes up and I don't even know where they where he comes from, but he's there. Uh, and so I, I watch him and I see a talented team that. Uh, you know that sometimes is maybe maybe in their inconsistencies is also trying to gel together and trying to there's a secret sauce about winning in, in MLS sometimes it's a league where because of the parity because of the challenges when you travel because of different things that it can be inconsistent until you find that foundation and you get on a you get on a run uh, and then you, you start to see teams find some of that consistency so the hope for us is they haven't found that and that's the one thing that we're kind of seeking as a group uh, but certainly they, they have our, they're a talented team that uh, that can that can play well and they can also make mistakes and, and give up things so our, our job is really this week truthfully is really to focus on us and to focus on our preparation and the detail that we need out of this with 14 games left um, 15 right so 14 right because we're at 20 and so 34 right? we have the san jose makeup or is that not part of it I, no i mean that is you're at 20 so okay it's, okay but, it, but it's but it's four but it's 14 right? okay yeah, yeah. It's 34. okay you, you also have a, a friendly in there maybe uh, maybe, maybe counting that one okay, I'm just going okay can we get points for that one no you can't okay. no you can't uh, gotcha. no but, in my head i just had yeah, 15. 15. Okay. you were right you do have to play 15. Okay. Just only 14 sure. of them count. Um, 
Got so, it. so with the with the fourteen games left, yep. uh, knowing sort of the point totals that you guys had last year, right around forty eight. If you do the math, we're about like, twenty one points that you'd need to match ne- next year yeah, or, or last year. Um, is there some urgency in knowing that while there's fourteen games left, it's, there's not a whole lot of real estate between now and and the end of the season? If everything's coming here pretty quickly. Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. I think if you look at it just at a pure point total, then I would say. Yeah, we, we, there's obvious urgency. I, I think this, the league this year is is a little bit different than maybe it was in the past. I think there's a lot of teams beating each other, and that's why you got a lot of teams grouped together. And there's two teams that have really kind of separated themselves a little bit more from the group. So I don't know what the point total is going to be at the end, but you, you have to play every game to take as many points as possible and separate yourself from wherever that line is as much as possible in the process. So is there urgency? Yes, I think that, that we all have feel that urgency. I think it's pressure that we feel as a group from the from the first whistle of the season is that we uh, we feel that that urgency. It's a long season and there's lots of bumps and bruises and ups and downs. There can be, uh, but I think we're all in that that point now where that we see uh, we're in the second half of the season and and you kind of see the finish line isn't too far away. And there's certainly an urgency for us to find that that uh, first is to find that that solid foundation that one and then to build off of that which. I think the group is is poised to do, but we we need to get the first one just to get the to get that emotional momentum back in our favor. Thanks, Thanks, Craig. Thank you. Thanks, Craig. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Signing Galaxy Manager yeah. number one. Yeah. Yeah. We will translate for him if he feels comfortable. Okay. He'll say it in English. Oh yeah, me me encanta. If if not, I'll translate. Okay. Guess I'm welcome. Um, just want to know how you're you're settling in to Los Angeles so far. ¿Cómo te estás acoplando y acomodando a Los Ángeles en lo que llevas? Bien, bien, muy bien. La verdad que este, el grupo me recibió muy bien. Este, estoy muy contento con, con todo el, la parte del club y muy feliz de estar acá. La verdad que fue una decisión muy fácil. Um, good. The team welcomed me nicely and I'm happy to, with, with everyone and how everyone's treated me here at the club and I'm, I'm very happy to be here. How are you uh, fitness-wise, and uh, in your mind, how close do you feel like you are to 90 minutes fit? How is your condition, your form of physique, and how close do you feel that you are ready for 90 minutes? Well, I've been training alone for all this time. Of course, it's been two months since I haven't had a official match, and it's a bit of a cost, but well, the condition I'm going to recover very easily. I have a physique that recovers very quickly, so I think that in a few weeks I'm going to be at 100%. Yes, Sean, is that your wife and your daughter, your partner and your daughter? Yeah. How are they like? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 I'm so I've been training alone during this time, and it's been two months since my last game. But you know, I, I can bring back my form quickly, and I think in a couple of weeks I'll be ready to go for a full 90 minutes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> You're, how are they enjoying the adjustment to LA so far? Como se están acostumbrando y disfrutando de de la justa a llegar a los Ángeles. Bueno, eh, teniendo una niña pequeña es poco difícil estar en un hotel, pero pero ya ya estamos tratando de sistemar la eh, la casa lo más antes posible y y estamos felices. La verdad que la la, la ciudad es muy linda. Este, hay mucho para conocer también. Um, you know, having a young girl is difficult being a, in a hotel, but we're trying to find a home now, and you know, we're happy to be here. And it's a great city with a lot of things to see, so we're really excited. What was it about uh, the opportunity to play with the Galaxy to play in MLS that most that you liked most that that made you decide that this was the place to be? De que es de lo de la oportunidad de jugar en en Galaxy en MLS que fue lo que te te hizo a que quisieras venir acá, que te convenció para venir acá. Bueno, hablando, eh, yo hice mi carrera en Europa sí, y, sí, y cada vez que se habla de la MLS, el primer equipo sí. que te viene a la cabeza es los Galaxy. Y bueno, es un equipo donde se reconoce mundialmente, han pasado sí, grandes sí, jugadores sí, y, y bueno, la verdad que es una decisión fácil, es el equipo más grande de la MLS, el más ganador y, y eso fue lo más, lo, más, lo más fácil para decidir. También tengo una tía que vive acá. Así que ella también tiró mucho para que venga. Um, talking about, you know, being in Europe and my career there, and when you think about or talk about MLS, the first team that comes to mind is Galaxy. You know, it's a world-known team with, you know, one of the biggest stars that, that have played in this league. So it's the biggest team in MLS, the one with the most championships, and it was easy to decide to make the decision to come here. I also have an aunt here who lives here, so so it's it was it was an easy choice. 
Gaston, we've been told by, by Greg that this was a deal that took uh, maybe more than a year to sort of come about and, and finally be put together. Um, when did you first know that the Galaxy were interested in you and has it been a long time to finally get here? Eh, hablando con Greg nos cuenta que, que esta transacción fue algo que tomó un largo tiempo, casi un año. ¿Cuándo fue cuando, <laughs> ¿cuándo, fue cuando primero te enteraste que, que Galaxy te buscaba? Y, y, y bueno, fueron hace dos años eh, que pasó todo. Joan hablaba con mis agentes y bueno, por ciertas circunstancias no se daba. Y este año eh, se empezó a hablar más y bueno, me gustó la idea, me gustó también este, eh, la estabilidad también de, de mi familia en un lugar fijo por, por, por mucho tiempo, que teniendo una niña pequeña y todo, eh, es difícil los cambios. Entonces esto también este, lleva a, a, este, a elegir también los alas y, y también porque la MLS creo que es un, un campeonato donde está creciendo mucho y, y creo que, que dentro de unos años puede ser la, la, la liga más importante. Sorry, it was a lot. <laughs> I'm really Hablo muy impressed. rápido. <laughs> <laughs> This is very fast, she's typing. <laughs> so, it, it's been maybe two years since, you know, conversation started with Jovan speaking to my agents, and it wasn't maybe until about a year ago that, you know, things started speeding up, and, you know, because of different circumstances, it hadn't happened, but I think this year I started liking the idea more, and, you know, having a, a young girl changes, you know, things, and, um, you know, with her, it's difficult to make big decisions like this, but that's one of the reasons I chose the Galaxy, um, and, you know, MLS is a, great, a league that's growing a lot, and I think it's, in a couple of years, it's going to it's going to be one of the most important leagues in the world. Gaston, um, Greg has talked about kind of his vision for you playing alongside Ryan and Mark. What have you seen in the midfield and, and what do you like about the, uh, the potential of playing with them? Greg ha hablado sobre la visión del medio campo y de lo que viste ahora en, en el entrenamiento con Ryan Raveloson. ¿Cómo ves lo que puede ser esa dupla con él en la cancha? Bueno, eh, la verdad que soy un jugador que, que me adapto con, bien a, al, al compañero que tengo al lado y, y nada, yo vengo a sumar de donde venga, de donde sea. Eh, obviamente que, que, que vengo a aportar mi, mi, mi humildad y mi trabajo duro y, y no hay problema con quién juega al lado o no. Eh, lo importante es que todos tiremos para la misma dirección y, y, que, y que cumplamos con el objetivo que nos, se propus, nos propus, propusimos al, al inicio del año. Um, I'm a player who adapts to my teammates easily, so I'm here to add and you know, help with wherever I can, work hard and be humble in my work. And it doesn't matter who's on my side. You know, I'm here to work hard and, and accomplish the objective that we all placed on each other um, at the beginning of the year. How much MLS have you seen and what are you expecting from the league and which ways is it different from leagues you've played in previously? ¿Cuánto de la MLS has visto y qué de lo que has visto qué es lo que diferencia de a las ligas que has jugado? Bueno, desde el momento que salió la posibilidad de venir acá, eh, he mirado todos los partidos de los Galaxy y algún otro equipo. Y lo que veo de diferente es un poco la organización. Eh, en Italia es muy táctico, muy, se ataca defensivamente y se defiende eh, tácticamente también. Eh, así que creo que es más la parte táctica. En España era muy parecido acá también, era box to box. Eh, pero, pero bueno. Eh, es fútbol y se adapta muy fácil a todo. Um, Te maté con esta. <laughs> Since the possibility to join, to join here came about, I've been watching Galaxy games and other games um, in the league, and I what I see differently is kind of the organization on the field. It's it's very tactical um, in Italy, and then in Spain, it's a little similar to here. It's box to box, but in the end, it's just football, so it's easy to adapt when you go. What, what, what do you think your your big strengths that you bring to this team? Why do you think Greg brought you here? ¿Cuáles crees que son tus fuertes y qué le puedes aportar al equipo y por qué crees que Greg trajo acá? Bueno, eh, mi fuerte es eh, la salida de balón, el, el, el uno contra uno también. Este, soy rápido y, y, y te, tapo los, los, defensivamente tapo los huecos de, del rival. Eh, Creo que me trajeron porque eh, soy un líder y, y, y me gusta hablar en la cancha y mandar a los compañeros eh, y ser, soy positivo y, y eso es lo, lo bueno que también, que todos sumamos de donde, de donde nos toque estar. 
Y, y bueno, nada, eh, esperemos, esperemos que se pueda lograr lo, lo, lo antes posible. Um, I think my strengths are um, that I, I have strength with, with um, the distribution of the ball and I'm good with uh, one-on-ones. Uh, I think I'm fast and able to cover the rival spaces. Um, I'm a leader on the field, I believe, and I, you know, I like to talk a lot on the field. I have a positive mindset and, you know, we're just trying to add wherever we can and wherever we play and we, we hope we can get on the field quick soon. Any other questions? All good? Perfect. Number six, most important position. Number one position. Sí, sí, lo pienso yo también. Yeah. I think that too. Por eso estoy acá. That's why I'm here. Fulcrum, anything else floating around? Rebellious and Godly, you did say number six. That's